Hello and welcome back little readers. Do you love trains as much as we do? I wonder how they get ready for bed at night. Do you think they take baths or read stories? Well, I'm curious to know what happens. So tonight's read aloud is Where Do Steam Trains Sleep at Night? by Brianna Kaplan Sayers and the illustrations are by Christian Slade. Okay, let's find out. Where do steam trains sleep at night after puffing down the tracks? Do their moms steam up hot cocoa for their just before bed snacks? Where do snowplow trains sleep after all the tracks are clear? Do their moms say, plow your toys kids, bedtime's almost here. Where do passenger trains sleep once they've dropped off girls and boys? Do they fill their seats with teddy bears and cuddly bedtime toys? Do you see the cuddly toys? What cuddly toy do you sleep with? Where do freight trains sleep at night when cargoes reach its destination? Do they rest on daddy's flatbed as he chugs home to the station? Where do monorails sleep once their one track trips are done? Do they sway to sleep on sky high tracks beneath the setting sun? Where do fire trains sleep when they're heroes of the hour? Do dads hose them down with water for a special bedtime shower? Do you have a bath before bedtime? Where do high speed trains sleep after a day of crazy speeding? Do train moms try to calm them down with sleepy bedtime reading? Do you read books before you go to bed like we do? Where do breakdown trains sleep once they've put engines back on rails? Do their dads rock them off to sleep with thrilling rescue tales? Where do trolleys sleep at night after shuttling through the streets? Do mama trolleys ring their train bells for a lullaby soft and sweet? Where do subway trains sleep once they've reached their final stop? Does the street become their blanket, a quilt of city lights on top? Do you have a special blanket that you use at night? Do trains gather in a roundhouse or a freight yard or a shed? They don't sleep atop a mattress, the tracks become their bed. But they have a special blankie and an oh so bright night light. They sleep beneath the crescent moon and a sky of stars so bright. Where do your trains sleep at night when you've drifted off to dreamland? Well, maybe all your choo-choos are fast asleep in Steamland. Thank you so much for listening, little readers. We hope you enjoy this book and we wish you a good night and sweet dreams. Always remember to be kind and keep reading. We love you. Bye.